Hey, uh, Superbot. Superbot, good morning. It is 1.15 a.m. Very, very early. Uh, I got up about midnight. Uh, I'm getting ready for work, drinking coffee, sending emails off for the radio station, looking at videos to do. And I did a video on my last Ramyana review, episode 25, and I asked you guys specifically about Indra. And what I want to do is I want to make this a companion video. And a companion video is kind of like uh, I'm going to discuss uh, something in the video uh, that's come up. So what I want to do is I want to I want to read I want to read um, the answer. So my my I had a question about Indra. Like, what's the deal with him? He seems kind of like a jerk. And uh, why is he a jerk? And so I kind of want to get you guys were great, dude. You guys were awesome. You came back and you answered the questions. Excuse me, a little congested here, trying to wake up. Um, so I have uh, here are some of the answers and and uh, that I got. So the next says Indra, the Lord of Heaven and King of every planet in divine, and he used to be on target with the entire evil and demons. And Indra used to follow the guidelines of Vishnu. So somebody trying to uh, help me out here, and then. Kumar responded to the next and said, fantastic knowledge. We have um, Mohit Ruhil. Indra is a post, not a person. Very, very helpful. This is very, very helpful. Like Prime Minister, uh, he is the administrator of heaven. Many different people become Indra in different yogas, hence different behaviors of Indras in different yogas. Oh, light bulb goes on. Oh, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. And uh, and that was Mohit Ruel who comes in and, and, and really helps me out there. And then we get uh, one from Kamal Nath Twyar. And, um, and again, I, I'm sorry if I if I butcher your names. I'm really, I'm sorry. Um this was kind of a lengthy comment, but very, very helpful. There are 14 different energy levels which make up the multiverse. What? Multiverse. Earth lies at level 7. Three layers about it lie. The abode of the demigods, um, commonly known as heaven. Indra is the king of this, uh, of Indra Wadi, in all the demigods like Vehu, Pavan, Agni, Sun, Sura, and it's basically covering wind, fire, sun. It is their command to protect the earth, and they have the right of weather control, maintaining cosmic order, peace, etc. However, they are often they are often overpowered by demons, who also have same ancestral uh, lineage as the demigods but they were sent to the lower levels based on their nature and their acts but they want eternal control here Indra is not a person anyone who sits at that position position would be Indra any person can elevate to that position the name of the position is Indra who is not the first and not the last Indra and many other demigods have done acts for which have been cursed by the sages Demigods are not free from temptation and worldly affairs at the same time. They have a dark and weak elements in them sometimes. Next, Indra would be the demon king, Mahabali, who right now resides in Rajasthalia, an energy level lower than earth and generally lower creatures like demons, serpents reside there. At that time, Lord Vishnu will help Mahabali to take the throne in defeating the current Indra, like Sharkar. Now we come to Vishnu, who resides at the highest level, energy level. Here, he is here to preserve the cosmic order of the whole universe at all levels. <laughs> multiverse? How in the heck? How in the heck does Hinduism get multiverse when it's like quantum physics is just now figuring that out? It just blows my mind, dude. Um, what do we have here? Keep them coming, Professor. This is from Intern Creamery. Keep them coming, Professor. I love your Ramyana episode reviews. A knot? Hey, it's a knot. What's up, buddy? 
says, yes, he is not a deity of good character. He's just an arrogant king. Makes sense. Um, what else do we have here? Mon Monoge? Indra and other deities, not God of his superior forms like Ram, Vishnu, Shiva, reside in in Shev Oh man. And have some arrogance because of their power wealth while well, they have duty to preserve and sustain the world. Demons and enemies of the deities thus receive boons from Shiva and Brahma to fight against the deities and to preserve balance and teach deities some lessons. God grants them these boons. Uh, and then I thanked him in the comments for his help, and he said not to mention it. Uh, so never hesitate to ask questions because the answers may redefine your perspective, which is very true. This is very true. This is this is shaping my perspective. Uh, Rajnith says hitting Hanuman wasn't an evil thing. It was just Hanuman was innocently trying to eat the sun. And despite, and despite from being stopped, wasn't listening to Indra. So Indra knew that he had to do something or the entire earth would be in danger. Um, so in the heat of the moment, he did so and later apologized for it. Um, okay. Golden Haste is a very good question and aptly answered by others. A few points I would like to add here. Indra and the gods don't go to earth. Don't go by earth rules because they are immortal. Immortality is made is a man-made aspect of the karma of earth the world of the gods there exists no relationship as there is on earth the foremost duty of interest to protect the earth and the gods from demons and he goes by the rules of his world and not that of earth there is also a uh, gives respite to karmic residue to the earthlings keep watching professor oh i'll keep watching somebody wants to know will i stream with an audience i'm not sure what you mean like take questions? I don't know. I've thought about it, but I, I don't I don't know if I will or not. Here's T series new song, slowly, slowly. O okay. Um that that hasn't really much to do with the pose, but that's fine. New T series song. I'm guessing they're wanting me to react to it, is my guess. Oh, what else do we have? Um somebody asking for a review on a movie. Uh boy, we love your T shirt color. Cool, thank you, uh Shri. Um, wow, so, uh, a lot more comments there on episode 25, and I, and I found your comments to be very helpful, um, in this, in kind of redefining my perspective, and that was very, very helpful, and I really appreciate you guys for doing that. But, you know, because I didn't see Indra, uh, I thought he was just like, um, you know, like Shiva, where it was this Indra character for the entire time of eternity, and, and he seems kind of, um you know, kind of jerky, but if you're telling me, you know, what it sounds like is there are different people who become Indra, and as a new person takes that position, they're coming in with their own personality flaws, right? You know, so if, if I was an Indra and maybe I'm quick-tempered, my decisions may be quick-tempered. If if the next person that comes in is Indra and they're very patient, maybe they're they're more long-suffering with their, their things, which makes a lot of sense. Again, Tanya Vod, so much for helping me, dude. This was huge. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love.